I was messing around some code of the game of life. So I wrote this code to uh here, let me do something real quick. Let me comment some stuff out. Because the interesting part about this is um the change I made. So here's the game. And so this is the resolution size I have it at. And it's just the hold on. Just Conway's game of life thing. You can you know what these are. If you know the game, it basically uh just a little recap of it. It's basically each little cell um looks around at its neighbors. And if the cell is like all by itself or if there's one more, it'll die. And then if there is let's say there's three, uh this one right here, the dead one, we'll see that there's three live ones and it'll come alive. But these ones only have one next to it, so it'll die. And eventually the whole system will die. Um so it looks at the eight around it. So this kind of con contraption thing will keep going. Uh, but what I have found, and then here's the thing I'm going to focus on is this guy. When it's in the normal game of Conway, Conway's uh, Game of Life, it right now it's playing and it just stays still. If I do something to it, it changes. This one stays still. I know that this one also stays still. This is like a constant. And then they can change and do all crazy stuff. But what I did was I wanted to kind of mess around with it. And the first thing that I changed, like just by chance, was that I have a little condition here that's saying if the block to the, to the above it, wait, no, below it. Yeah, if the block below it, uh, which is denoted by this plus one here. So in this thing, uh, y goes from zero to increasing it increases downwards so if the block below it is one then all right so just editor math here re real quick i forgot to mention that the block state uh like if it's dead or alive is represented by a zero and a one so if it's zero it's dead if it's one it's alive you can probably figure that out by yourself but i realized in editing this that it just Sounded like I skipped over it, and so some people might not understand what I meant, but that's what I meant. It will turn itself one, and so you see we got these things. And it does some crazy stuff, so you see how that's happening. Well, when I did this, I see something interesting happen. You see that? That is the um, uh, Sierpinski's triangle. And I can actually make this bigger. I put this to 100, the resolution size. Um, actually, let's put this at the bottom. So I, so I did write all this like fanciness, um, but here we go. It's running much slower because there's a lot more to calculate. But look at that. That is really strange. That is the Serpentis triangle, and like, it would keep generating. It wasn't if there was no walls to get stuck. I'm gonna do one more thing. Let's just do 200, and it's gonna be really slow. But oh my god, I don't even think I can. Gosh. Okay, this is insane. You know what I could do is I could have a little condition here, saying, "Where's my E pressed?" Okay, so I can say that if the key code equals I don't know what's uh or let's just say if the key key equals and I'll say G then I will set how do I set them the what's the W okay so W dot board um uh, item what if I do wait if I do item 200 right so it would be 100 on the y no, no it would be 200 on the y and then 100 dot state equals one then if I press G there should be hold on 
Okay, hold on, wait, wait. Not create one. What is the problem? Should be right. Oh, wait, wait. Resolution 200. Oh, not 200. It'd be 199, I think. Um, Let's just do, it's not, let's do 180. There we go. Okay, so it does create it when I press G. It's just really slow. So what I'll do is I'll do 180, 181, 181. So the two top and two bottom. And so that means this is going to be 101 and this is 101. Nope. This is 101. Delete. If I just press G now. Okay, good. All right, so now I have a way of doing it without having to click. And so here we go. This is with a 200 resolution game of life or 200 resolution board. And it is slow. I'll speed this up. Okay, so I believe that the next giant empty circle will not complete because the top of the triangle is going to continue back around and get to the bottom here uh, also one thing i have noticed is that it's not technically well it is the stupinsky triangle but if you notice right at the bottom here there's these like little rivets like it's not exactly perfect but it's continuous so that's cool about it. So these are getting messed up now. Corners. But it doesn't seem to say it's gonna be messed up here. Wonder what the pattern is gonna be. These sides are coming up now, so it's gonna completely Right here, when this one, this part gets and touches over here, then we'll completely stop it from growing. Or well, not maybe not, but it will, you know, will fill the board with itself. Also, I am surprised this seems to be perfectly centered. No, one off. I just had. 99 and 100 perfectly okay i do want to try something well first let's try let's try a smaller board go back to 50 and it still works Bring to the um Oh, I thought it was going to keep going at one by one to the right and left. Then vertical is also a three. So it's, oh, there we go. Oh, it did it a little bit better that time. Vertical one. How about a little like that? Kind of chaotic. But four. Actually, let's Oh, look at that. Four gets the uh, triangle too. It's interesting. I want to. Okay, it makes a chain. Oh, oh, look at that. The first. <laughs> That's cool. This is like the new. That and the ones and twos. I get a one here. Ones, twos, and whatever this thing is are the new walkers. I'm going to rework the uh, code for a second, and I'm going to make it so that it moves at an angle. Instead of going up, it's going to be the corner ones, top right, right back. Actually, I thought maybe it'd be better to see me actually coding the thing. Uh, so it's right here. 
Actually, I'm, wow, it, it's honestly just changing one number. So let's see, it'd just be plus one. Okay. Now, should go at an angle. Okay. Did not go at an angle. And that is because, oh, that is because I didn't do the index. Still looking at just the X. So this needs to be a zero. Now it should work. Oh, that's the wrong way. Why is it going that way? That's fine. That's fine. So, okay, if that's that, and twos go, and then threes. Oh, so I'm guessing in this world, lines just continue forever. If I just hold, hold, I feel like click. Oh, that's okay. I can change that. What I can do is. I forget where I did that, but I have a place where if I'm holding down, here, I can find it. If I do mouse is press, if mouse is not press, then timer. I think it's that. Yeah, I think it's this. If I just do this. Yes, there we go. So now I, so basically this timer was just, it's a little, it should rename it to tick, but it's basically a way for me um, to, like if I, I have it at one, so it'll, the action will happen at every tick, but if I do 10, then you can see the thing will happen at every 10 ticks. Uh, that's just, you know, in case I ever want that. But we want it to go fast. Let's see. That's cool. That looks more organic than the vertical one. So that was there. Yeah, I thought that might be fine. Let's try. Well, let's see. Try. I'm going to go here, which means that it's. Two. Oh, I just did that, didn't I? No, okay. So you can do over two. Now well, let's try the square. Ah, that's cool. It stops itself though, but that's what about a box? Okay, rows. See, the thing is with the Sapinski's triangle that that's really fascinating to me because that I'm not sure how that's happening. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know where the math is. Oh, that's fine. These work. How about this? Okay, so, oh, that just means that lines right next to each other. Wait, no, did I do that wrong? Here, right? Oh, interesting. So you can't create a line, but you can't create a line right next to itself, or it's gonna. I'm trying to do this. I do that so that the next phrase this will get made doesn't but oh that works too that, so that, this is funny um cool though so could i do well, that's still gonna break what about if i did one two three four five six oh so let me fill the board first. Okay. I really thought I was going to mess it up. So if I press play, I think it's going to fill it as a checkerboard. <laughs> so a checkerboard in this world could survive, but it can't, it can only be generated with like the way I did. Did I mess that up? Hold on, I thought, oh, I messed that up. I just wanted this. Okay, so that, that's gonna, it's, anyway. Anyway, I wanna get back to the the other thing I had. Um, Not the other thing, the triangle, or the Spinsky's triangle. That seemed very interesting that that happened. Oh, yeah, I was gonna make a point that, like, it's seems like one of those things, I'd rather have that be plus zero, just for consistency. 
it seems like one of those things that um like maybe like uh the blue one the <laughs> blue one blue three one brown three blue one brown three blue one brown that's it that channel uh that seems like that channel would tackle this kind of weird phenomenon that's appearing oh so just a side note uh i watch that channel all the time i kind of made it sound like i i was like trying to remember that obscure channel that i didn't know but but i i watch all the time i just couldn't remember the name for some reason i was blanking you know how it is when when you're recording you kind of forget things um that like earlier i said circle instead of triangle uh, anyway anyway because like i'm still like kind of pondering it usually there's not obvious that's where like math would come in form a Let's see, what's the next step? I wish I could do let me try to let me code it so I could do one step at a time. Um Okay, actually it's pretty simple. All I gotta do is add that there. So this is the function to iterate once. Um and I just have been calling that over and over again. And then all I gotta do is that. But now when I press space, it goes by one. Alright. And it's actually been some time since the last cut, if you could tell that there's a cut there. Um, so I don't know why I wanted it. Oh, right, right, right. Because I wanted to see the step. So a square turns into a rectangle like this. Why did these come out? The This one, well, oh, because it had three, so it grew. Oh, and that looks like a... So, okay, I get it. I see why it's growing. The one, so this one, right? Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. It's, I believe it's similar to this thing, where like like the one that does this, it flips back and forth, kind of similar. Not really, actually. Now I think about it, but um. So it grows it has this one has three this one has three so this is gonna grow and then the top ones grow and then this one has three so let's i'm gonna see something what if i didn't have the the thing that i have that's doing the thing this thing if i didn't have it going up then if i had three here it would grow oh and then these two die oh no Whoa. Hold up. Hold up a minute. Oh, okay. Let me let me take this out for a second. Back to normal. So if I had this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, I see what was happening. So it tried the lat so the one before I took all this stuff out. It would do this. It would like the three would these three would turn into these two would come out, but these would be empty like it is. But that same step, it these saw that there was two blocks below it, and so it filled it in. Right. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Definitely makes sense. What if I did two? Should, yeah, it should jump. Oh. So what if I... Okay, wait, two? Yeah, that'll do that. That's okay. Now, here's the thing. Is this going to do... I got to, like, spam it. Okay, it's not doing the Sapinski's Triangle in some weird way. But that is interesting. Also, uh, I will leave the description in the description. I'll leave a link to this. Um, actually, is there a way to leave a link with just the code itself? I think there is. I'll figure it out. I'll leave it in the description um, so you can mess around with it. Um, I'll also do this. I'll change these values. Oh, no. 
yeah, yeah i'll change these values to be let's see what do i want to call it I'll, I'll call it um uh okay yeah cx so i was changing x and then or actually, actually do dx and then dy right and then so that way when you come here you can just go up to the top and change these values so if I have the Y1, then it will do the original Sapinski's triangle thing. You can just mess around and do this. Also, um, I won't do the step thing. I'll leave this on with space. However, if you want to take a step, what you can do is if key equals I don't know the H button yeah that's fine uh if you press the H button then it'll take a step there we go and then just don't press the G button unless you have a 200 because this is gonna or you know what I could do I can say uh no no I could say what what can I say I'm going to make a variable. Let res equal. Sorry, it's, by the way, sorry if my mic, if I sound like far sometimes. I don't think I do, but I have to like look around my mic to see my keyboard. So I kind of leave the mic for a second. Uh, this dot res equals w dot res. Wait, is that, is that simple? Is it that simple? Let me find a, uh, oh yeah, res. Okay. Um, yeah, and then what I'll say is that I'll take, this will be the bot, so res minus, I don't know, one, so it's very, at the very bottom, and same for this, and then this will be res minus two. And then this can be res div two, which will mean if it's a hundred, it will be fifty, and fifty is one farther than. Wait, whoops, yeah, so one farther than. All right, hold on, let me do this again. Res divided by two is fifty, but the index would be forty-nine, making this be res div 2 minus 1 I might have this backwards and then this is just oh I need to put some parentheses around that I think oh no I don't order of operations and all that so if I press G there we go okay is that in the center yeah that's right in the center okay so now you can press G without worrying about it because it will always be in the center or always be in that position relative to the size of the window. Um, and then H, you can just press, do a step. Uh, G, H, 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 yeah, there you go. Uh, cool. So I have that in the description. Go check it out. Okay, one, one last thing I want to ponder real quick is that, um, now knowing, okay, so that we, we know that the reason this can like persist is because every time like it shoots out a little thing and then this little thing has three more around it so that gets filled in and then that gets shoot out and it, so it like travels sideways so there's a, a constant traveling sideways and on both sides and oh okay okay I'm actually gonna say i don't know why this is happening but now that i actually figured it out so right here it creates two that are going in towards itself. And we'll forget about this for a second. And as they go in towards itself, when they clash, let me reset that. So it goes out. So when they clash, it cancels itself out and they all die. Right. And in this, why does it open? How does that open? Find another one. So 
this is going to open because it has oh it has it has more than four okay so yeah there's one two three four it has four so it died so that's really interesting so the reason that a Sierpinski triangle forms is for two or well, three things one because there's always an upward motion uh so it's constantly like bringing the triangle upwards two it's okay, okay yeah so two um two what <laughs> my my brain uh two is that it always has a like a constant sideways motion with these kind of shapes this will go this way this will go this way uh okay there's three and four three is that uh they clash when they clash they cancel each other out and they they like disappear and it's that long long thing and then the fourth one is that after it creates after it breaks the shape that it generated persists that's interesting like this one has too many so it will or actually this one has too many so it will die so all the bottom ones die but all the top ones go up that's cool that's really cool or it's a, at least it's fascinating it's a mathematical thing interesting that conway's game of life can just just an alteration of conway's game of life can create the sapinski triangle uh, that's cool i wonder what other things it could create but i'll leave that to you guys uh thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed it